I felt as happy as no doubt some of you did when I heard the Chancellor make his announcement in the autumn statement that there was effectively going to be a freeze on uh, arts funding, he wasn't going to cut it. It was almost more important to hear the words that came out of his mouth uh, about it being a false economy to cut the arts and how much more we get back from the arts than we uh, put in and I hope that is a turning point. More needs to be done, particularly around ensuring a cultural education for every child in making sure organisations that receive public money work hard to increase access for everyone. Diversity is a huge agenda. We have made, I think, a lot of progress with broadcasters and now we want to carry on that campaign to get black and minority ethnic musicians into classical music. We've been campaigning around the need to incorporate the agent of change principle in planning law. It's actually in bill committee today, the housing bill, and Labour has put forward an amendment to try to um, push that. It's so important that we protect our grassroots music venues. I would say they're part of our national critical music infrastructure and um, they are where the next generation of musical talent will come from. In our view, the BBC must continue to be a national broadcaster, which can invest in jobs and programming, but it should also be an opportunity for us to celebrate that the BBC is the most successful public service in the world. We will publish a white paper after the May elections and uh, we will take into account people's responses and concerns. But I too am a passionate supporter of the BBC. If we do publish this white paper, it'll only be the second white paper uh, on the arts and heritage, where we want to focus uh, on putting the arts and heritage where they should be, at the heart of our communities.